Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigil here and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to get John Constantine and his chest is already in the store. And I'm gonna try to get him via his chest. If I don't, I'm just gonna buy him for 50 bucks because I'm making more from the video showcasing him. It's it's like an investment for me, even though the price is high. But I would absolutely love to not have to spend those 50 bucks. So let's hope for some luck in the chests. Okay, three legendary shard drops. Yeah, you're gonna see the full amount as soon as you open one. This was a very lucky first opening. I I just need one more drop to unlock him. Imagine I proceed to spend my all my gems without seeing him again. Also, shouldn't have opened 10, should have gone with ones, because it might show up before 10. Never mind, never mind, that made no difference. Bro, come on. This is this is not. This is not happening. I'm not. I'm not having to spend 50 bucks because of uh, 25 shards. I, I refuse. I refuse to accept this as a reality. Any drop, a 50 shard drop, is gonna be amazing. It's gonna be enough. Come on, any drop. Nope, another gold. Come on, come on. There's there's still some chests to open. I really don't want to. I mean, look, it's it's not that big of a deal, but I it, it's inconvenient. Okay. Come on, come, on. bro. No, 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 no. Please, please don't. Have mercy, bro. One more drop. One more drop. The only way I don't unlock this man is going full golds 20 times in a row. Nah, bro. Come on. Three more pulls. No, no, this is not happening. I refuse to accept this as a reality. Two more pulls, come on. Not even looking. Oh, I think I need to press. No. It's a gold. It's another gold. I'm at 175 shards and I haven't unlocked his ass. There's no way. I'm gonna I'm gonna look through stuff to see if I can get gems for one more try. Okay, so $50 later. $60 because you also need the gears. I have this man at uh, 3 stars and 172 shards. Lucky me. Uh, now, let's take a look at those passives a bit. So you guys can see the values at the third level. Because so far we saw them at level 1 and at max level in the data mining. But we don't have kind of a clear in-between factor. But yeah, let me, let me uh, do some things here. Get some gears on. Get some gears upgraded. Okay, so this is the base look, right? This is how he looks without any gears or with four gears. This is how he looks with a complete gear set. But not above level 60. Keep in mind, it goes all the way up to 80, but the look changes at 60. And now we go with this all the way up here. And he's gonna look like this. Basically, same look as when he had full gear set, but he's getting some lightning effects now. So yeah, that's that's the uh, John Kathleen drip. So I'm gonna try and build this man, but I'm gonna try to do that for tomorrow. For now, for this video, it is whatever God intended on the gear rolls whenever we got them. And it's relatively decent stat spread, but this is not a good build, by the way. But since we're playing Arena... And even if I went to play Soul Raisin, probably I'll do that for tomorrow's video. We're not going to be able to see the performance necessarily. Because we want to see how good he is in raids and soul raids and we'll get there. But right now I want to get the feel of the character. I want an easy team that at the same time is tanky and uh, can uh, allow me to fight them a lot but not kill me. To get the feel of this character. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. This is a team where I'm going to be really fine unless oh elder something evasion by the way might as well get some gears from a boy 
always forget to do the arena invasions. But yeah, let's get this going. Keep in mind I have a chance to burn him whenever I get a certain amount of combo. Oh, he's not burning so far. He attacks him smooth enough, like I find it easy enough to combo and drop with him. My bad there. Press that a bit too early. His, his back of his moods. I think they learned their, their lesson from uh, Deadshot. Though still not the smoothest and the animation looks a bit weird. Like it takes a bit for that to trigger. That was the special too, I applied the mark. Does he need to be marked for me to have a chance to apply burning? I don't know that thing specifically. By the way, I should tag in. I should tag in and out because I got the shield with this team. Not really trying to use the synergy of the team a lot here. By the way, I have Nora Snow Globe on him. That's where the healing comes from because I didn't want him to die. But he doesn't have any built-in healing himself. Those Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing does. So Swamp Thing is going to heal the team with the spores that he's got if he needed. So yet again, I don't care about that too much. Hmm. Nope. Oh, we could fight this. This should be tanky enough. It's a bit risky. And the Swamp Thing invasion is definitely here to save the day. But I still haven't managed to get around the burning from basics. I don't remember if the... I think I know for a fact it's above a certain amount of combo. Whenever that happens. So I don't know if the enemy needs to have the Hellmark applied or not. I just want to burn somebody with my basics. Okay, we're gonna give the passive a read together after this fight. Maybe the chance is just super low for this level that I'm at. Other than that, he feels good. He feels good to play. Definitely better than Shazam, I guess. The swipe back despite their best efforts is a bit a bit suspicious still. And there's a super move. Cause I got a bit, I got a bit of uh, people in the comments of the last new character video that complained that they didn't show the super move. There it is. That's the super move. And yeah, let's let's see about that passive. Cause like the main driving force for this character, first of all, is the utility of applying burning early for Zatanna, in my opinion, and maybe the damage. Though we'll see about the damage when we get soul rates. As he can deal a decent amount of damage. He has the possibility at least to deal a decent amount of damage. Okay, so let's see. This should be it. Opponent with Hellmark for each 10 combo meter. Okay, and how do you apply Hellmark again? Successful specials and super move. Weird, because I did like the special one on some dudes, and it applied the silence, but no hell mark. Wait, successful specials by anybody in the team? No, I don't think so. Yeah, definitely a bit weird with that hell mark and burning. Let's try again. Because I know for a fact I can apply the hell mark, because I... Oh boy, I, I don't think I've ever seen this much threat on a team. I haven't played Arena in a long time, though. Um, but I'm pretty sure I applied Hellmark and, uh, with, with the special, but the other time I didn't. So it's a bit of a fluctuation that I don't like. I'm gonna fight the multiverse team too unpredictable. Spare with me one more second here.
this is fine. Yet again, I'm not trying to showcase my amazing just mobile skills. I'm just trying to get the feel of the character and find situations where the fight is going to allow me to show you the most, not necessarily optimal, but the most proper gameplay to watch, let's say. Okay, so special one. No Hellmark. Oh, it is Hellmark. It doesn't display as a separate negative effect, I guess. So we have the Hellmark. By the way, this is how you heal. You do something, use any special, and it applies contaminated on the enemy. I still want to burn the enemy. He's gonna tag out though. And this man doesn't have Hellmark, so let's apply it on him. Now, you saw a Team White heal, that's because Swamp Thing's uh, uh, poison thing exploded. Okay, that was 11 combo. Yet again, I don't have a guarantee to trigger, but it's a pretty high chance to trigger it. I'd love it if they wouldn't tag in and out so much. Like, there we go, there we go, it works, I got the burning. It's a bit hard for me to activate it because I didn't bother to really build the character properly. And because it's low level, I think it has a higher chance to trigger at higher level. By the way, for the pay to win side of things, I can't wait to test Jokerai's batterings on this man. And for the free play side of things, I can't wait to test the free artifact on him. So the burning works indeed. I think I know that special one animation from somewhere. I don't know from where. But it looks kind of common. Let me know if you guys got any ideas about that special one animation. Okay, let's test out my country. It, does it matter? Because I wanted to test out the tagins of the character in situations where he might get interrupted, but he's usually gonna have the Swamp Thing shield to help him. Though, we might as well test that out, because you're not necessarily gonna always use him with Swamp Thing. Especially because Swamp Thing doesn't provide the biggest buff for the Just League uh, dark, uh, dark team. Might be good, it might be to the point where it's so many buffs that every single one of them matters because they work together, but you might use him outside of this team. So let's see if the tagins work properly. This is a good team to fight. Though the Swamp Thing shield might be a bit too high because I think there was a Swamp Thing in this. They only get it on tagging though. Oh, this was not the Docker Fate, my bad. Okay, it didn't get interrupted. Now, with that tagging, you can do the ghost step where you, after finishing your combo, after doing everything normally, tap three times, swipe so right, tag in, and you press the screen once. Didn't do it correctly there, but the enemy is not gonna be able to interrupt you if you do that. Why I tested it without that is that you can't do that in every single situation. Okay, there's the shields. Oh, she blocked it. It's kind of hard with the shield to make her not block that, but the silence, I think, was supposed to remove the shield. Maybe the third special does that as well? I know there is something about shield removal for him. Okay, that worked. That's actually a good range for the special too, because, okay, this I, I can't tag in any longer against this man because he's got the Astro Harness. Why, why are you doing this to me? He tags this man in. Okay, that was a tag in right in the middle of that man's combo. Look, bro, 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 chill with the Astro Harness, my dudes. I'm gonna kill him out of spite. Never mind, he killed me out of spite with super move. The Astro Harness Swamp Thing, you, you're never ready for it, man. You're just never ready for it. Uh, but yeah, the tagging seems to work fine. Now, one other thing, the last thing I want to test out before wrapping up this video. But for the pay to win side of things, gonna just get the tan out and put a speed force flash in there. That, that's just because I am missing personally some fast actions on his build. So, this is going to give him the Swamp Thing shield 
and at the same time uh, the uh, fast detection smacks out because I want to use the Joker as batterings on him. This is a win artifact and what this does other than probably giving him a decent amount of damage if it synergizes with him the way I'm thinking. Gives him three fast attack hits. So he should build combo right now crazy fast which means he's going to trigger the burning stacking very fast. I guess this is a fine team to fight. And let's get this going. Also in soul raids I don't think you should worry about losing the Swamp Thing shield at all because that scales with the health of the artifact so this team is going to be most likely crazy easy to play. Brother I'm building a oh no Hellmark, no Hellmark, why do I always forget about that? Needs to have Hellmark on. I was like I'm building a lot of comp, where's my burn? With bosses, it will not be this complicated. Oh, he blocked there. I guess I'm using this. How did he decide to not go for super move there? I'm very curious. Oh, I think the health mark got removed by the leg score poor suits. Well, nothing I can do about that one. And it power drain me. Yeah, I'm dead. Anyway, this is kind of it for the... Um, John Constantine gameplay showcase. Even though I'm very mad about him pulling a nasty one on the chest openings. Bro, how, how can you be stuck at 175 shards, man? That's just not it. But other than that, he's fine. I like him far more than I like Shazam on release. He plays, I like him far more than like Robin King on release. He plays fine. He is enjoyable to play. He feels smooth enough to play. Again, a bit sus on the side back animation, and that's honestly all I have to say. I can't say anything more about the performance of the character until I get him. I get to test him out in other situations, league raids or soul raids. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you personally think about John Constantine, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.